How would you evaluate your one year at UConn? I wouldn't want it to have went any other way, honestly. I feel like I had all elements in there. I had obstacles, I had games where I played really, really good. And then, you know, at the end of the day, we, we got the job done, we got the ring to show for it. So I feel like it was the best decision for me to go there. And I wouldn't have want that year to win any other way. You guys were dominant. I mean, as impressive, I, I think back to maybe UNLV in the early 90s. What was it like to be on a team that absolutely just punished people? It was a privilege, honestly. Go out there every night and knowing our fans are, are gonna be right behind us and knowing that we were playing with, you know, the, the supreme confidence that we were playing with going into every game, knowing that, you know, we're, we're probably gonna win it. I mean, it was, it was a blessing to, to be a part of and I feel like all that credit goes to Coach Hurley and the way that he recruits. You know, I feel like he recruits more than just a player. He recruits a a person and, and their parents as well. So he put together a, a real a real tough group. And I mean, yeah, we got the job done. You talked about the adversity early with the injury. Cause yeah, you're one of the highest profile high school kids coming in. How'd you handle that? Just sticking to it. Practice every single day. My teammates instilling confidence in me, you know, wanting me to do more on the court, you know, asking more of me, uh, asking what I see you know, making me feel more important to the team than, than I felt at the time, especially coming off the bench as soon as I came off the injury. You know, uh, I wasn't playing where, where I wanted to play, so, you know, it's just them instilling that confidence in me, you know, day in and day out. One thing I love about the way in which Hurley coaches is he doesn't coddle. You could have the highest profile resume, you still gotta earn it. How did that make you a better player, person, and ready for this next job that you weren't handed this this past season. It's been like that at every stop that I've, that I've been at. So uh, in high school, I had to earn my position. And I knew coming into college, I would have to do the same thing. And I didn't want anything given to me. I knew it was going to be like when I went to UConn. And, and that's why I chose that. You know, I knew that you know, I was going to have to work for everything. And, and that was something that I wanted. You know, I wanted to be coached. I wanted to learn how to win. I respect Coach Hurley for that. And I feel like, you know, he, he prepared me for, for this moment to you know, take this next step to, to go to the NBA. Castle got a three! I remember one of the criticisms, if there were very few, if any, was, oh, I don't know how good a shooter he is. Then you go during the Final Four and you're making big time shots, timely shots. How did your shooting evolve over the course of the season? Just getting in more reps and building that confidence back early in the year. I feel like I started off pretty slow. It shook my confidence a little bit, but you know, just staying in the gym, you know, staying, staying true to the work that I put in and, and believing in it, knowing that, you know, I'm not putting in that work for no reason. You know, my teammates and coaches have confidence in me to take those shots and knock them down. So uh, just having that confidence in myself, you know, I felt like that built over the year and, and it showed. Castle, that's clever. There's no consensus number one. There's no reason that you couldn't be one of the players that goes number one. For these teams that are in that position, obviously Atlanta has the pick now. What's your selling point as to why you should be the number one draft pick? If you were to draft me, you'd be drafting a winner. You know, somebody that can do it on both ends. Somebody that can create their own shot and also create for others, but also has a, a, a high IQ. You know, that's not as common as, as you may think. You know, just to bring all those intangibles, but also bring, you know, versatility. I feel like you can put me anywhere on the floor and I'll be successful. weaves through the traffic for two. Uh, I feel like I'm a pretty all around player. And, you know, I have a lot of dreams in this league, you know, de defensively and, and just as a, as a player in, in, in itself. So, um, you know, I, I feel like that I, that's my case.